Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Welcome back to our channel. And uh, if you're new, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. And today, I'm going to go back to one of my favorite, favorite creations. It is the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin a -roo. I've had uh, some new subscribers hear about this. And I've gotten comments, can you please do a drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin? Sure, and I'm going to do it exactly like I did it, I don't know how many years ago, but time flies. So, I have my 10 by 10 round canvas. I have my Color Place Antique White Parenthesis Satin. No water, no silicone, no glue. Straight out of the can, and that's about it. So, my colors I'm using is Golden Turquoise Phalo, Primary Elements Cupid's Crush, Golden Light Green, Golden Deep Gold, Jasmine Primary Elements, Amsterdam Dam Ultramarine Violet, Primary Elements African Jade, and this is my DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. All these colors will be in the description box and um, the coupon codes for all of my um, Affiliates. Affiliates are in there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going back to how I did this because I brought out my deck of cards. Oh, hey, wait, show that card. That's my favorite card, that's me. Um, and what I did was I just cut them in all different... Widths. Widths. <laughs> So that if, you know, you have an open space, you can just fill it in with the different sizes. So, I mean, this is really going back to exactly the way I created this years ago. So we're going to get started with our drizzle. And I like to drizzle pretty much to the ends because otherwise you're going to have a lot of white but you don't want to overdo your drizzle. So I just go around and around. You don't want to cover your entire canvas with the paints. You want to have some open space. You can always add more, but you can't take off. This is one of my favorites, it's Cupid's Crush by Primary Elements. And like I said, all these paints will be in the description box and they're all made exactly the same way. It's recipe number 478. And uh, I tell you exactly what I use, how I do it, and you should be set to go. There's a link to that recipe video number 478 in the description box, make it easy for you to get to. That's good because we have so many videos. This now is golden light green. But if you have any uh, questions about this technique, I mean, it's pretty well cut and dried. If you watch the whole video, you'll know exactly how to do this. It's pretty simple. As Kathy mentioned, it's called drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. We also just call it DSWS. Right, it's not shoes. <laughs> we just added one in there. But I mean, any beginner can do this. But it's one of my favorites. I love doing this. I just haven't done it in a while because after that I got into the blooms and then I got into some different things, types of paintings. And so I've had so many questions asking me, well, do you, how do you do that? You know, blah, blah, blah. Well, there are videos, but they're so old. You might not even be able to find them. Yeah, it's been many moons since you've done a DSWS. Yeah, I should have put my shirt on. I forgot <laughs> That's about right. that. That's right, you actually have a oh, top that says drizzle, swipe, rack, and oh, spin. I forgot that. Darn it. This is Jasmine primary elements. 
She's also a pretty color. It doesn't matter if you get a, a blob here or there. It all comes out in the wash, <laughs> as they say. This is Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. And as you can see, my paints are all the same consistency. It's very, very important to have your paints all the same consistency. You for this, for this, especially for this technique. Well, you want it really for any well, that's uh, technique. True. That's true. Yes. I mean, you want your paints to be all mm -hmm. the same consistency. And you always want your cell activator to be the thinnest of your paints. This is African Jade, which is really, really pretty. But as you can see, I'm leaving white, quite a bit of white in there. And I, Phil can tell you, I used to call this, well, I still call this it, the mishmash. It looks like just a big mishmash, which means it's just all over the place. But that's my terminology. It's the mishmash. And I always think of the song, we did the mash, we did the monster mash. Then I have that in my head the whole day, which is not good. Okay. So that is our drizzle. Now we're gonna move on to the swipe. And I usually have a tile that I put my cell activator on, which is Oxide Black by Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. But however, I can't find my tile since we moved. So I have just a paper plate, but a tile is so easy. Paper plate will probably be easy too, but if I can't find them, I'm going to have to go buy some more tiles. Okay. All right. So I'll start out with um. I'll start out with a big card, and I'll show you. I'll go down the middle first. Just a plain old playing card. Plain old playing card. So here we go. As you can see, what the drizzle does is it puts all the colors all over the canvas so you pick up a multitude of different colored cells when you do the swipe. That's the object of the drizzle. I love doing this. I can't believe I haven't done this in so long. So fun. You can see I'm using, still using the same size card. As you can see, Kathy does clean the card after every swipe or uses a brand new card. I use a brand new one. I don't, um, I don't really clean the big ones. Oh, I see. Smaller okay. ones I do, but okay. usually not the big ones. I mean, it's, it's cool. As you can see, you just get a multitude of colored cells, different colored cells, the colors you, of paints you did put down. Okay. And you just take your time, you don't have to rush. I'm not going nowhere. I'm just doing some paintings. And I call these like, um, I fill in my rivers, but I'm gonna show you today, I'm not gonna fill them in because a lot of times they make a really pretty um, composition with your cells. So what do you think, Phil? Do you think I should fill, well, try to fill them in? No, just, I want you to kind of show how much cell activator you're putting on the card. They have an idea. Okay, all right. C 
See what Kathy calls those spaces in between the swipes, the rivers. And as she said, you can either leave them or you can use smaller cards. I'll use smaller cards to show them, you know, how yes. I fill them in. Yes. But as you can see, the swipes are creating just an unbelievable amount of colored cells, beautiful cells. See, Kathy, you're starting to use some of the smaller width cards to get at the area she wants to complete. Because you try not to go over an area that's already been swiped because you don't want to wreck. Yeah, you don't want to wreck your cells. Yes. But these are so, it just looks like stained glass. It's just so pretty. This one will be a good one for this. That's why I said cut your cards in all different sizes. Because that way you'll you'll have some for the different areas that you have left. But like I said, you can leave those areas if you want. Because a lot of times they make really pretty. And yeah, they certainly can. Um, what do you call well, contrast, contrast to these cells. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't have to fill them in. And I'll show you these because the, once I get that, then I fill in my little rivers because a lot of times they really aggravate me because it's like, ah. but then sometimes I, I would leave them untouched because they do make really pretty um, composition. Okay, so I have that little river right here that I'm going to show you. Okay, where are you at so I can point that out? I'm going to go right there. Right, oh, that, okay. That little spot there you want to get yeah, I'll go of. right there okay so I have a really skinny card just go right down go back in here just do this that's it okay so that is the completing of the swipe correct and as you can yeah. see it looks like stained glass just it's really really pretty look at all those Sells all the different colors that Kathy used. Really cool effect. Okay, now I'm going to do a little wrecking with this. And we do, actually we call it enhancing now, but when Correct. you originally started this technique, we called it wrecking. Right. So you've done the drizzle, the swipe, and now the, the wreck, wreck is coming in. So how do I want to do this wreck? I don't think you need to do too much wrecking because it's really a... I'm just going to show them a little well, bit. <clears throat> I'll just go right down here. Yeah, you don't want to overdo it because the cells are so pretty. Yes. But this way that gives them just a little idea of what the wrecking is. Yes. And that's going to be it. That's that's your rocking, which is now called enhancing. Yes. So now we're up to the spin. But you want to start out slow. You do not want to just whip it around because you're going to just whip everything off. So you need to start slow. So that's what we're going to do. And you need to go both ways. Yeah, you know, since doing this, I do know what direction I have gone now because before I could never remember and Phil would go, you already went that direction. Now what the spinning does, it increases the size of oh, the cells. Look, look at, at Look this. at the beautiful cells. This is so, all throughout. so pretty. Like you say, it looks like stained glass. And like I said, anybody can do this technique. It's a very, very simple technique. It's a lot of fun. And if you want the stained glass look, this is what you're gonna get with the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin. And I've done this with large canvases that are absolutely beautiful. And as 
Kathy mentioned in the beginning when she was doing the drizzle, she likes to drizzle all the way to the edge. And the reason for that is it gives you coloration all the way to the edge. Mm -hmm. it, it, this turned out really pretty. So if you do have fabulous. any questions on the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin, um, feel free to ask me. Uh, like I said, it's an easy technique. It's a beginner's technique. Anybody can really do this because you just drizzle it on. And I like the playing cards. <clears throat> you don't have to use playing cards. You can use your uh, spatulas. But on this, on the smaller ones, I just use the playing cards. On the larger ones, I've already used spatulas this big. So it's totally up to you, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, we're going right back to the beginning with one of my favorite, favorite uh, creations. So until the next time, everybody, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You never know when I'm going to go back a couple years and show you some things that a lot of the new subscribers really don't know about. So until the next time, everybody, have a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you later, alligators. Bye.